In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a sticky footer using Elementor to your WordPress site. You can have this turned on for desktop, mobile, or tablets, or any combination of those. And you can have this footer follow people down the page. This is a great place to put an opt-in offer that you might have, or social sharing buttons, or maybe just a regular footer. Either way, you decide what goes in there. I'm going to show you how to do it, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we teach WordPress to change lives. So you can change your life by increasing your income, change your client's life by providing services that they need. And if you like that kind of thing, and you like WordPress tips and tricks and hacks, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell icon, so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, if you like Elementor and you want to know how to do pretty much anything with it, get on the wait list for my Do Pretty Much Anything with Elementor course. It's in the description down below, and it's a waiting list. There's no obligation. I haven't created the course yet, but I just want to see how much interest there is in this course. And if there's enough interest, I will create it. So check that out if you want to. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. I'll see you there. Before we start, if you want to see how we made this welcome screen right here for clients or anybody else who logs into a WordPress site using Elementor, there is a video in the description down below that shows you how to do that. It's a pretty cool little trick for, especially for clients and reducing your support tickets. But to do the sticky footer, we first have to have Elementor Pro because the sticky option is only available in Elementor Pro unless you have separate plugins outside of Elementor. If you don't have Elementor Pro yet, there's a link in the description down below. It's an affiliate link. It doesn't cost any more for you to buy through that link, but they send me a small commission that helps to keep the lights on, helps me making these videos. So if you do buy through that, thank you very much. And now this is how we do the sticky footer. Head over to Elementor, and I'm going to go to my templates. I'm going to click on Edit with Elementor for the footer. And you can do this on individual pages as well. It's just I want to do it on the template because then it's site-wide not just on one page, but you do it how you prefer or how you need to do it for whatever your project is. So we have our big old footer down here. We have a smaller one down below that. I'm just gonna click on the six dots for the big one. I'm going to go to advanced, scrolling effect, sticky, bottom, and then click on update. Now if I go ahead and preview this page, actually no, I'm gonna go to, let's go to the home page. This page doesn't have enough content. The home page has a lot of content, so we can actually scroll and see the effect in action. So here we have our big sticky footer. And as we scroll, the footer stays there, and it goes right down to the bottom, and then the lower footer appears below it. You may want to have a smaller footer when you do this, but you can do it with this footer if you like. A cool thing that you can do with this functionality, I'm going to turn off the sticky footer for the footer itself, and we're going to add a new widget down below. We're going to add social media icons in the footer. And you've probably seen this on lots of websites where on mobile they have social media icons at the bottom. We can do this really quickly using this function. So let's drag and drop the social icons. I missed. Let's try that again. It's going to add a couple more. Let's do Pinterest. And then Instagram, and then YouTube. Boom. Got a nice set of social media icons down here. I'm going to make them square. And you can align them left, right, center, whatever you feel like. I'm going to keep mine in the center. I'm going to go to the advanced settings. I'm going to add a scrolling effect, put it on the bottom, and I'm going to hide this. Hang on, where are we? Responsiveness going to hide this on desktop. Then click on update. Now if we go back out to our home page and let's go right to the very top, refresh. Our big old sticky footer is gone. We scroll down to the bottom. Everything's great. Looks fantastic. If we now spoof a mobile user agent, so let's go to inspect and we already have a mobile user agent in place here. We see the social media icons in the footer that are sticky and they scroll down with you, which is quite a common feature on a lot of sites. It's difficult to do manually, very difficult. There are plugins that do it, but you can very easily do it with Elementor Pro and it works out pretty well. And if you had even bigger ones, like at the bottom of this post, so if we did these wider ones at the bottom, that might look even better. That you could have a different version for tablets, which is this would be big enough for tablets. That'd be too big for mobile, but you could have a different version for tablets and mobile phones. And that's a great 
feature for Elementor Pro, adding these widgets in the bottom or whatever what you want for the footer. It could be a call to action to opt in for something. It's a really cool feature. And again, if you want to get Elementor Pro, link in the description down below. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.